This is the download from Sounds Profitable, the most important news from this week and why it matters to people in the business of podcasting. I'm Manuela Bedoya. And I'm Shreya Sharma. The download is brought to you by Magellan AI. Track the trends in spending, ad load, podcasts on YouTube and more. The Magellan AI Podcast Advertising Benchmark Report for Q4 is available now for download. This week, podcast ad spend isn't slowing down. IAB CEO airs beef with Apple. Several podcast companies are hiring. And an updated edition of the Podscape is now live. Before we jump in, the download is now a newsletter as well as a podcast. Subscribers to the Sounds Profitable newsletter will also receive the download in text form every Thursday. Subscribe now if you haven't already. It's okay, we won't judge. In light of recent layoffs in the podcasting space, we would like to take a moment at the top of the show to highlight some companies that currently have positions seeking applicants. First, Jar Audio is hiring a full-time audience growth specialist. Wondery is currently hiring 17 full-time positions, 15 in the U.S. and two in their U.K. office in London. And Magellan AI is currently hiring for the positions of account executive, measurement success manager, and sales development representative. Yesterday, Digiday Sarah Guaglione published a piece detailing how solidly podcasting has handled the much-debated recession. But to get to the good, we gotta hit the bad. As she points out, ad spending overall has taken a hit recently. Last week, insider intelligence writer Ariel Figuer reported that ad spending in the U.S. fell 12.1% in December, making it the sixth consecutive month that ad spend has gone down. Insider intelligence has cut $5 billion from their 2023 U.S. digital ad spending forecast, bringing it down to $278.59 billion. Now for the good news. Greg Leone is finding that decline hasn't sunk into podcasting. Four buyers spoke with Digiday and report that their clients' budgets aren't getting cut, and they see an increase in podcast ad spend. Employees of Horizon Media, Ocean Media, and CMI Media Group report increased spending on podcast ads, often from clients who are backing down on ad spend in other forms of media. The piece reconciles increase in ad spend with recent industry layoffs, cancellations, and cost-cutting, with a proposal from Eli Dimitrilokos, ACOST's global head of ad innovation. Production houses are shifting away from multi-million dollar minimum guarantee signings. As headline-grabbing pandemic deals begin to end, small to mid-sized podcast inventory rises to take its place with inviting prices. Here's an excerpt from the Digiday piece and I quote, The buyers Digiday spoke with said there's plenty of ad inventory available despite the recent reports that investment in new and existing shows may be decreasing, end quote. It's a good day to hear good news in podcasting. Things have gotten interesting with the IAB and Apple. Last week, during the IAB annual leadership meeting, CEO David Cohen took to the stage with a prepared speech titled, It Starts Here. A speech so vitriolic, it prompted a joint response from the ANA and 4As to criticize its tone and quote-unquote polarizing political rhetoric. The first segment dedicates multiple paragraphs to proposing the FTC, members of the Biden administration, and politically opposed members of Congress are funneling quote-unquote dark money into a common goal of destroying the advertising industry under the guise of controlling big tech. Cohen then transitions to Apple. From the speech, after years of failing to build a significant market for ads in Apple Music, in Apple TV, and on the iPhone, Apple has decided the next best thing is to stop anyone else from making money in advertising. That's why they are the poison Apple. End quote. The crux of Cohen's issues stem from app tracking transparency and the billions of dollars of ad revenue it has destroyed since Apple deployed the feature. Attention is given to both the damage ATT has done to third-party advertisers and the fact first-party iOS apps aren't given the same treatment. From Cohen's quote given to ad age Garrett Sloan, So, we want to call it out for the hypocrisy that it is, and we want to invite them back to the table. End quote. In his postmortem interview with Ryan Barwick, Cohen announced that since the poisoned Apple speech, Apple has reached out to the IAB to schedule a meeting in February. 
Whether the meeting will be productive or not remains to be seen, as it was spawned by a speech with digs like, and I quote, Apple will try to smother the advertising industry just like they did to the recorded music industry. We can't sit back and watch that happen. End quote. The fact a meeting has been booked is a step in the right direction, regardless of how it was achieved. Whether or not Apple will have any motivation to re-engage with IAB Podcasting Group remains to be seen. Last Thursday, Julia Cannon, writing for Digiday, published a piece covering recent examples of companies recontextualizing print advertisements. Here's an excerpt from the article, and I quote, Last month, General Electric took over the New York Times print advertising for a day throughout the news, business, and art section of the paper, amounting to 22 full-page color ads as well as five partial pages, end quote. Not only was this an impressive buyout, it was the first of its kind for the Times, It's also the latest in a series of big plays as marketers embrace out-of-home advertising and the freedom from on-screen clutter that can come with digital. Matt Zucker, a senior partner and co-head of marketing and sales at Profit, a growth strategy consulting firm, explains the appeal of a full-page newspaper ad in 2023. Quote, Full-page ads command attention and gravitas for the message. There's no need to fill the space, but the statement says... We mean what we're saying, and it owns the space, preventing clutter from other marketers or messages which could cloud the message or distract from it. End quote. Every ad in podcasting is full page from the perspective these marketers are aiming for, and many podcasts explore full or single episode sponsorship opportunities. What General Electric sought in newspaper, podcasting can offer them, along with the fact that podcasting has a bit more sex appeal than print. Before we get into quick hits, we have a story to quickly revisit. After some wonderful feedback from the industry, the second edition of the 2023 Podscape, a collaboration between Magellan AI and Sounds Profitable, is now available for download. The Podscape, a sizable infographic, aims to give a bird's eye view of podcasting that takes inventory of companies, agencies, services, and anything else that could be classified as podcasting. The current edition is available for free download now on Magellan's Podscape page. Finally, it's time for our semi-regular roundup of articles we're calling Quick Hits. These are articles that didn't quite make the cut for today's episode, but are still worth including in your weekend reading. This week's articles are... Marketers predict programmatic advertising spend in podcasts to triple by 2027, ACOST study finds a press release provided by Pod News. While the future might be interesting, what matters now is we have a new report from a company that prioritizes programmatic in podcasting, so it can be valuable for those considering its possibilities. Understanding Podcasts in East and Southeast Asia by Guang Jin Yeo for Pod News, the first publication in a multi-month series covering the region's podcasting and its opportunities. Country overviews for Japan and South Korea are currently available. Nielsen to shop Edison research data by the Podcast Business Journal. A brief explanation of the announcement that Nielsen will start marketing share of year and podcast metrics to advertising agencies. Two notable contenders in the space working together to lend the industry further credibility. About three quarters of people who plan to watch the Super Bowl said they're excited for the ads, research says by Alyssa Myers of Marketing Brew. It's early February, which means we're bound by advertising adjacent tradition to share a story about how much audiences love Super Bowl commercials. TuneIn forms distribution pact with Amazon's Audible by the Podcast Business Journal. With this new deal, TuneIn will begin to distribute Audible Originals podcasts. For this final entry, instead of focusing on a single post, we wanted to spotlight a newsletter that covers this industry we love and has been covered several times on the download. We recommend you check out The Rebooting, It's a free twice-weekly newsletter written by Brian Morrissey that focuses on the mechanics of building sustainable publishing businesses. Brian brings over 20 years of industry coverage and nearly a decade of building a profitable publishing business to the table. If that sounds like your style, check out The Rebooting. And that was The Download, brought to you by Sounds Profitable. Today's episode was built using Spooler and hosted on Art19. Find out more at Spooler.fm and Art19.com. I know we went through today's stories fast, so be sure to check out the links to every article mentioned. 
right in your podcast listening app or on soundsprofitable.com slash the download. And thank you for sticking with us as we bring you the top stories you might have missed from the past week. I'm Manuela Bedoya. And I'm Shreya Sharma. Our producers are Brian Barletta, Gavin Gaddis, and Tom Webster. Our editors are Wies Carmen and Ron Tendick. Special thanks to Art19 for hosting The Download. And thanks to you for joining us. Robot? Download complete.